Aloha, welcome to my channel. Hi everyone. Hi, uh, this is my channel, Island Living. I just did a two shops at Walmart and Costco. Now this is a Walmart run that I just went and done. Our Walmart is, it's about 28 miles from where I live. We only have one mar Walmart on the island. Uh, so what you're looking at here is to add to some of my preps that I already have and a couple of the things I just wanted to pick up. Um, so anyway, I hope everybody's prepping. Um, I live on the island of Maui in Hawaii. And recently I found out from a few people um, that the prices could go up here uh, pretty quickly. Uh, I have a friend that works at Ace Hardware and another friend that owns a business. And everything comes on a container to Maui. So um, they're saying that Young Brothers, which who owns the the shipping yards um, for Hawaii and probably other places, said that they're going to start charging 40% more for container. So that will dwindle down to the consumer, to the customer. So I've been pre I've been preparing for a while. I just add stuff every week or every couple weeks. I go over and keep adding to my supplies. So I just figure um, you would want to see what things look like and what they cost on the island of Maui. So with that in mind, um, I'll show you some things that I picked up today. This total, this bill is about 100, is about 300 and I think $6 is what I spent for everything. Just what you're looking at. Um, so first thing, a couple things I got here is I actually picked up the generic, uh, their brand of the Scott's toilet paper. Uh, I think that's what, 20, uh, 16 rolls. I also picked up one of the puffs. Okay, we haven't had toilet paper and tissue in a while. So I picked that up. I also picked up some green tea. So a, a gallon of green tea. Um, I added a couple of can more cans of chili to my preps, as well as I picked up some cranberries because we're getting close to Thanksgiving and who knows what Thanksgiving is going to be like in November, uh, if there's going to be anything here. Um, some of our stores right now are only getting one load a week, which that makes it really uh, challenging for us here on the island. So uh, I picked up some cranberries. I picked up um, about six cans of the beef broth. And I bought the beef broth because I also bought some meat um, that I'll show you from Costco on another video uh, that I'm going to can. I even picked up a couple of the larger sizes of beef broth from uh, Walmart. So I got the cans in that. I also picked up the, the cubes as well, the chicken and the beef. Um, I picked up a couple cans of the French style beans as well as a few cans of this cream style corn, which I haven't seen that in a while either. So I picked up about three cans of that. Picked up two different types of chunky camel soup, uh, cheddar and bacon. And then we got the steak and cheese, which I don't think I've ever seen um, here on island. Uh, I picked up five cans of evaporated milk, as well as I picked up this milk I've seen people, other people pick up on uh, YouTube just for my uh, storage for my supplies. So I just want to have some extra things of milk. I don't drink milk that much, but I want to have it on hand in case I need to, to make something with it. I picked up some cheese sauce from Ragu, as well as a couple cans of mandarin oranges. And I know people have their own opinion about Pringles, but I picked up three cans of Pringles. Uh, regular and salted as well. I love these uh, sparkling ice uh, waters. Um, so I picked up four of the black raspberry and four of the peach, and those be those are actually will be, I'll be drinking those right away. So I drink those all the time. Picked up me a couple of candy bars just to have put in my refrigerator. Some bow ties to add to my. Uh, Pasta, I picked up a box of tr Triscuits that I like. I like the olive, the d dill sea salt and olive oil. Picked up a couple different, two different types of pancake mix. Okay. Uh, I wanted just to pick up baking powder 
just because we have it on island and I haven't seen that in a while. I picked up some sugar also. I have a little bit of sugar. Uh, I picked up a little bottle of vitamin C. I have a lot of vitamins that I get from Melaleuca, but I wanted to pick up vitamin C. I also picked up a few things of macaroni and cheese. Now, I recently had all, I had a bunch of bags and boxes of angel hair, and I hadn't bought the, um, the containers you put them in yet, and when I opened my bags, uh, they all had uh, bugs in them. And of course, I sifted through them at first, and then I was like, uh, I think I might throw them out. So yesterday I looked at it, and they were refilled with bugs again, so all my angel hair went to the trash, so I bought four more boxes. Um, we seem to run out of the shampoo a lot, so, and cream rinse, so I bought two of the shampoos, strawberry and ocean breeze, the other flavors were all out. And I bought the cream rinse or conditioner of coconut, which I like, and Ocean Breeze. Um, I wanted to pick up another one of these containers that you put your utensils in by the stove. As well as I picked up a, a, one of these, uh, what do you call these, couple, these, <laughs> these uh, measuring cups. So then when I um, can, probably tomorrow, um, the meat and stuff I bought, I'll use that as part of my scooper besides my uh, my ladle. Of course, I picked up one more deodorant. I keep adding to my deodorants. Some heavy-duty um, sponges, which those seem to run out during the uh, CV, too. Picked up just some throwaway razors, a couple packs of uh, dental floss. And I use different types of toothpaste. I usually use Colgate, but I also picked up some pep Pepsodent today. Again, these are just adding to my preps. As well as I picked up another thing of aluminum foil. Uh, this stuff I don't use all the time, but I just want it on hand. I bought some blueberry uh, muffin mix, chocolate chips. Just add milk. I've been adding to my different packages of juices and stuff, and I have like taco seasoning, guacamole seasoning, so I picked up some all juice, some buttery cream potatoes, I think those were a buck or two, garlic potatoes, uh, the Noors chicken and broccoli rice, and I picked up three more cans of the little canned hams, and these last pretty long time till 2025. Um, I actually picked up uh, two things of yellow fin tuna. Now I know, I know yellow tuna, tuna, yellow fin tuna is really good. I just haven't had it in a while. So I seen somebody else have this on video. So I actually found it in our Walmart. I had to, I picked up some material. Um, what I do is I have some shelving in my place here and I have all my stuff on shelves and then I cover it. Um, and uh, keep some of the sun out besides just covering it so if somebody was to come into my place it's none of their business what I have. I had to run back in the store and have to redo my toilet so uh, I've got to put in this flapper thing. My toilet's acting weird lately so I have to put in my new flapper. I picked up some paper plates. Um, I try to use them off and on just, to, just because to not have to wash the dishes. And then I picked up this uh, expandable shelf, which I, I'm, again, I'm utilizing all my space, all my space for everything that I have. Um, I picked up these containers, which uh, some of these cost 20 bucks. I got different sizes, the 10 cup, the 7 half cup, I bought the 16 cup, and two 16 cups. And then I also had to go back in the store when I went to go back in for the flapper and I, I had remembered I had wanted to get more water. So I picked up um, 10 gallons of these water. These are just um, uh, Walmart brand water. I wanted to uh, get some more water. I have a lot of water, but I wanted to add more. Now this is something I don't know if y'all thought about. I've seen actually seen, seen this on YouTube. Uh, be prepared for anything, everything, including the blackout. So I've been wanting to get one, one of these for a while. This is uh, in our hardware department. It's a little, looks like a little metal trash can. And I'm going to make this into a Faraday cage. 
Um, I actually have um, the Faraday bags already, but I also want to, I want to uh, put that stuff, the Faraday bags inside the, that. So what you do with that is you actually, uh, you actually um, line this with a cardboard um, all, the way, all around it inside, and then um, you put the, your computer tablets or whatever inside the Faraday bags and put them inside here, or Faraday cage, cage um, and then you put them inside here for double protection. So I bought one of these today. I've been wanting one of those for a while. So anyway, um, this is my Costco, I mean, excuse me, my Walmart run um, today. Um, again, I live on Maui and I live in Hawaii. Obviously Maui's in Hawaii. And uh, all this costs $306. So it doesn't look like very much. Um, we're a little bit more expensive out here, but with them saying um, that uh, some of the prices might be going up here as much as, hopefully not, but as much as 40%, the containers coming in, they might raise the prices to that. Uh, so those out there, um, it might not cost you as much when if prices go up because you yours is all your all yours your food comes on trucks and trailers ours comes on trailers but it's got to go across the ocean all the way to hawaii so not complaining just being prepared and a lot of people i know are preparing and i'm sharing that with all my friends so with that in mind uh this is what i purchased at a uh, walmart today and uh, i also have a costco run i did at the same time because they're very very close to each other um the stores are right down the street from each other so you go from one to the other and if they don't have something you go back to the other and so forth uh, or if you want to buy in bulk so anyway i've done other videos on uh preparedness um as well as island videos of the island uh which is what my channel is designed just island living um when you live in the islands of hawaii and people love to come out here we're still uh, we're still not really open. Oahu has been closed again for the last couple of weeks, and they're extending that again because their digits are in the triple digits. And we only have like 200 beds out here, so if something happens, there's not a, place, a lot of place for people to go when they need medical attention. Okay, so, and then Maui, not quite as much, but uh, so we're not locked down, but Oahu, Oahu's been locked down for uh, several weeks, and they're going to be locked down, I think, even more. And they're starting to get upset about that over there so um but yeah with the grocery stores um as i said the one that's a mile from my house says that they're getting like one load a week um that's a little bit different um so i just think about you know if we did have the tourists back here right now on our island which we usually get about nine million tourists who were up to right before everything happened um there's enough food on the shelf for us and there's a lot of empty holes everywhere still. So you bring 9 million people back and there won't be enough food for us who live here. So um, I just keep telling my friends, just keep preparing, keep storing food as much as you can in places that you can, in containers, in different places, uh, under the bed, in strange places. I live in a studio condo on Maui, but I have found plenty of places and I've gotten shelves in here. I've re redid my bookshelves doubled up my bookshelves to make room for uh ex i've got empty shelves now that i'm gonna can some meat products and put those on my shelves um just again trying to uh store as much food as i can i've helped people so i i do help people i've helped them but right now i'm trying to help them by getting them to help themselves so that's the key is help yourself right now as much as you can help yourself um you know we're on furlough we've been on furlough since the end of or the middle of the end of March, and we are still out. And uh, so, yeah, so everybody just needs to uh, do what they need to do to have food insurance, just like we have medical insurance, uh, you know, dental insurance, auto insurance, that kind of stuff. So people need to prepare, and uh, who knows what the rest of 2020 is going to hold for us. But uh, I believe in the Lord. I have strong faith in the Lord, and the Lord is good to all, and I know good things are going to are coming to pass here um we just gotta we just gotta see it and see god's goodness and this is god's goodness that he's allowed me to keep preparing and buying food and like i said i've i've shared before um and we're preparing for everything out here we've heard different stories about blackouts and emps and all kinds of stuff that may, might take place uh 
it's not fear. None of us are in fear. We're just, we're on an island. So we only get so much stuff. And everything, again, uh, I've said in my other videos, it goes to Oahu first, and then it comes to the outer islands. So we get it second. And toilet paper, as I was going to mention, is not a funny thing out here because the island of the island of Hawaii, the islands, have run out of toilet paper before. So it's not um, fun when you run out of toilet paper when you have 1.8 million people living in the middle of the ocean and they need toilet paper. And so out here, the first thing everybody does is prepare is they grab toilet paper and water. Those are the two top things. And like I said, it's not a joke for us. It's It's been a reality. They've run out of it three times now in the past. And people do not like to be without toilet paper. So um, everybody has it. So I don't think anybody anybody's, um, can say they don't have toilet paper because we all have toilet paper. And they just keep picking up toilet paper each time you go. And of course, then you share with friends. So I recently gave a, a, a pack I bought from... Uh, Costco a couple months ago I had held it back and then I uh, as a favor a friend drove me someplace I actually uh, gave it to my friend to add to her preps because I don't usually use Walmart I mean a uh, Costco's toilet paper but I buy it and then I give it away so like I said out here it's like a it's a treat it's a it's, people appreciate their toilet paper anyway because they don't like using the newspapers and stuff that they've had to use before so um I'll stop on stop speaking lean rambling but rambling anyway so this is just what it looks like in hawaii when you spend 306 dollars on these this much stuff um but anyway uh i enjoy living here and uh i pray you all are healthy you're all blessed you're all preparing um you all have different ideas different things that you might see in my video or other videos and uh my channel's newer i just started it actually right before we went out on furlough and uh it's just barely growing, so um, I'm doing a little bit of each thing. So, But it, this food all comes in handy. Uh, I recently was out right before we, uh, we went on furlough. I had a broken ankle, and I was out of work for a while. So it really helped that I didn't have to go buy food because I had some food stored already. And it makes it easier when you're on crutches to have stuff prepared for, again, for anything, whether it be a, a storm, a hurricane, a tornado, a, uh, to saw me, you know, or an, an accident like I had, or, you know, an injury. Um, if you have stuff stored, it's actually, I felt pretty secure because I, knowing I didn't have to worry about my food or water or anything really because I had it all prepared. So everybody keep on prepping, keep on preparing, um, keep on securing your family and your friends around you with uh, supplies and uh, to stay, stay looking up, keep looking up. Keep believing for the best. Uh, 2021 uh, should be a, a great year. And uh, just give your heart to the Lord and follow Him and ask for His help. And be surprised on what kind of surprises He might bring into your life uh, with helping you all. So anyway, um, you all have a great day. And thank you for watching my video. Aloha.